Um, let's, let's move on to the subject of disciplined agile. I think a lot of listeners will probably never have heard this about disciplined agile. Um, a couple might be experts, a couple might even be certified. I think mm -hmm. there's a small percentage of, of people who kind of started working their way through it. I have a little bit. I got that book, uh, yeah. Defining Your Wow, which was cute. Yeah. Um, I found some very interesting concepts in there. Um, can you kind of enlighten us? What is the disciplined agile all about? Because it's also it also kind of leads into the topic of scaled, right? Yeah, it, that's literally what it's what it's about. Uh, okay. Disciplined agile is one of the several scaling techniques. So and there's it's, safe, it's good. there's safe, less, and there's less, discipline, and a couple discipline others. Disciplined agile. There's also scrum at scale. There's there's several others out there. Scrum Maybe of some scrum. Less. Scrum at scale is scrum another scale. scaling technique. Yeah, um, and these are all different ways of basically taking small teams, individual teams so, and scaling up with complexity, right? For Yeah, so so what's the, for those are, who, of us who are asking, what the hell do you need that for? Yeah, so let's talk about that. So <laughs> um, so a little history lesson with, with Agile and where Agile made a whole bunch of mistakes at the beginning. Um, we started out in Agile where it was focused on the team. You know, build yeah. a great team and you're gonna have great stuff. I completely 100% believe in that. Yeah. I still believe in that. It's about the people, build a great team. They're gonna build great stuff. Yeah. Sooner or later, when you're a larger organization, you need to have more capacity than one team. Yeah. And and, and they were kind of theoretically, theoretically limited to the principle of seven plus or minus two, right? Exactly. But and the question is, can you can you manifest a multi-million euro project or multi-million dollar project with, with seven, seven people? people? And the answer is no. No, of course no. not. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you can, but it might take you 30 years. Yeah, yeah. Right. So yes, <laughs> absolutely. There's a capacity, yeah. right? So it, when you're in those situations, you need, you know, larger groups of people, you need more capacity. Yeah. And when you're increasing capacity, you can do the traditional approach, which is you build bigger teams, yeah. or you can do the agile approach, which is you build multiple, multiple teams, right? Mm -hmm. Multiple seven plus or minus two size teams. Mm -hmm. Now, the challenge though, is once you start building multiple teams and, and you go back to a, to a core concept in agile is um, removing silos, right? So you want to remove these silos, and that's why we build these cross-functional teams and things yeah. like that, because they work together really well in these small groups. But once you start building out multiple teams, what you're essentially doing is creating brand new silos. You're replicating them, and that's what squads and guilds, in reality, just with different Tribes, names, yep. same, same problems, same solution with different names. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and that's where the scaling frameworks come in. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the very simplest scaling framework is something called the Scrum of Scrums. Okay. Right. And the scrum of scrums is if you have two, maybe three teams, you don't need a lot of complexity to organize yeah. those teams. You, you just, they just, we just want them to talk to each other. Yeah. Right. Make sure that we're not building brand new silos. So we build this opportunity on a regular cadence, cadence where teams talk to each other and they talk about the challenges they're facing and what impediments they have and, you know, how to coordinate. Right. It's important yeah. stuff. It's really yeah. very valuable. Yeah. But once you get beyond that, now that complexity starts to set in and you've got a lot more stuff to deal with. Now you're talking more program, right? And you know, contrary to popular belief, programs and portfolios exist in an agile organization too. Yeah. It doesn't go away. Do right? PMOs exist? Are they, are they called VDOs? I think that's a venereal disease, isn't 